carry in the tractor? Well, let's go take a look. <laughs> this should be interesting. Alrighty, what do we got in here? Well, first and foremost, this time of year, you got to have a lot of this, especially black fly season, tick season, deer flies. I usually use the deep woods off because it's got a lot more deed in it, but I've just got the sport with me today. But you got to have this on hand all the time. This is an absolute must have. You gotta have a battery operated light. I don't use it much in the summer, but in the winter time, the sun usually rises around 7, 7.30 in the middle of winter here, and it's done or starts to go down around 4, 4.15. By 4.30, quarter to five, in the middle of the winter, it is pitch dark here. This is the big tool rack work light. I've had this thing now for at least three years, and I love this light. It pivots, it's got a nice handle, two really important pieces, super strong magnet. If you folks don't remember a couple of years ago, I did a test against two other magnetic lights, stuck them to the side of my pickup and drove through the forest for a kilometer, or well, 1.3 kilometers. This is the only light that survived the trip. And still to this day, magnet super strong, about 500 lumens, it's got a lithium battery in it. And I literally charge this thing maybe once a year and it somehow miraculously holds its charge all year long. I seldom ever have to charge it. The nice thing about the magnet, I stick it right here to the steel floorboard. I tilt it in, I never kick it, it's totally out of the way, and it has never once fallen off over a bump or through the forest. Super strong magnet. It also flashes an amber SOS. So if you're stuck on the concession road, something happens with the tractor, you can throw this thing out on the road or on the side of the tractor and it'll flash SOS patterns. It's a great little light. Let's see what else we got in here. A pair of gloves, gotta have them. Not just one though. <laughs> Two, three, three pairs of gloves. If you're working out in the forest around the property, you know how important it is to have extra gloves with you? I always have more than one pair with me. Let's take another, oh, classic. You know me, don't want to get my hands dirty, so I always have a rag with me. Let's keep digging. Yeah, excellent. I got a couple of shear bolts for PTO shafts. I always keep them on hand. Oh, and hey, first aid kit. I've got two of them. This is one you probably see me use in forestry. I usually hang it off the side of my, my chaps or off of the side of my uh, tool belt. I also have another first aid kit. You gotta have one, especially if you work a lot on your property by yourself. Make sure you got one close by. You folks know, there's not a lot of room in these cab tractors. In fact, there's no room on an open station, but water, today's water. Always carry water with you. You have gotta stay hydrated. I don't know about you folks, but for me, I've learned over the years, I know I'm starting to get dehydrated because I become fatigued. And the first sign that always signals me that I'm becoming fatigued is I start tripping in the forest. Because usually you walk through the forest, you lift your feet. When you start to become fatigued, you start dragging your feet. And as soon as I start tripping once or twice, or I start to catch my foot or the foot or the toe of my foot, I know I need to take a break, drink some more H2O. So always have at least a couple of bottles on hand. I either carry a D shackle or a hook like you see here. That goes through onto my draw bar and can also be used on other applications when you need to use chains. You just always want to keep one handy because you never know when you're going to need it. 
Geez, it's been a while since I looked back here. There's a lot of crap back here. Garbage. Another rag. <laughs> you can never have enough rags. Oh my goodness, boy. I gotta do some house cleaning. Tree straps. Always carry a couple of these tree straps. They are super cheap. Whether you get them at Canadian Tire or Princess Auto or your local hardware store, these things are like four or 5,000 pound uh, working load limit. I'm not sure if I can see it right away here, but, uh, but you can get them for under 10 bucks. And get a couple of straps because when you're working in the forest, you'd be shocked how many times these things come in handy. Tree straps. Ratchets and sockets. I've got them basically the sizes I need to replace a shear bolt on a PTO shaft. And I also carry, I, we call these a crescent wrench. I think generally they're called adjustable wrenches. This is what I use to firm up the lock nut on the lower and the upper control arms on my three point hitch. Got to keep it with you. Ah, <laughs> the other first aid kit I told you about. Uh, you got to get one. This has got a ton of stuff in it, scissors, gauze, uh, bandages, uh, creams, um, cold pack, all kinds of stuff in here. I think it was like 55 bucks on Amazon, but please make sure you got one. You just never know what's going to happen out there. And if you're fortunate enough to hang out with your buddies like I am or your neighbors, at least they know they can look after you if you hurt yourself. More water. You can't have enough when you're out there on your own, especially if you're working all day long in the heat. Last but not least, it's not part of my standard carry, but because I've been in the forest so much lately and we're working on guys' target range build, I just throw my pouch in there with all my wedges, my files, my scrunch, etc., for the chainsaw. Because every morning when you get all your stuff together, I just leave it in there because I know I'm going to need it the next day. But it's not part of my standard carry. But it's in there. So hey, that's my standard carry. Question I'll leave with you. What's your standard carry on your tractor? Let me know in the comments. Have a wonderful week with your families. Please be kind to each other. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers. Drips gas. And <laughs> soaks my gloves. It has one of these fancy stoppers where you can stop the flow, which does work well. But not only when I take it out, but you'll see when I fill this chainsaw,